Well, hello everybody, this is Glenn Bader, and today is March 31st, and last day of the month. Ta-da! Anyhow, the reason why I wanted to go ahead and shoot out this video to you is, first of all, to say thank you very much to everybody that has been involved with the auction. We sincerely appreciate your bids and all your purchases, and everything seems to be going quite smoothly. So again, I wanted to say thank you very much to everybody. So I also wanted to mention to everyone that uh, we've had some lots that haven't sold. So what we have done is we pushed all of the no sales onto the back of B lots. So if you click on B lots and you scroll on down and you hit some of the, the later uh, numbered pages here, let's just go to 31, you'll see all the items that uh, didn't sell. So let me click on this one right here. B368, and then you'll see A044. Obviously, A44 was the original lot number, but now it has turned into B368. And again, uh, no reserve uh, and bid away, and you might be able to pick up this great uh, rear, uh, rear bumper for your bike. So another thing I wanted to mention to you is that once you're registered, if you hit the My Accounts Register Now page, it'll actually open up this page right here, which is basically your personal My Accounts page. And if you scroll down to Auctions right here, click on it, it'll open up to a page that gives you all the information on all the activity that you've done so far on the actual page itself. You got bid active, bid one, bid lost, and watch list. So again, all of your information is on this page. So I'm gonna go back to the main page here. <clears throat> Now let's talk about shipping because everybody's contacting us. Uh, how do I pay? How do I ship? And again, if you're if you're if you're bidding, Denny will go ahead and send you out an invoice for what you're uh, what you've won. And if you want to continue bidding, just let her know, and she'll go ahead and push all of your invoices back to the uh, day that you say I'm done bidding or at the end of the auction. So again, just get with Denny when she uh, when, when she sends you out the invoice. Now with regards to shipping, uh, we do have a page here. It says shipping options. We do have a few options um, for small, medium, and large items. We have uh, the Ojai Business Center. <clears throat> now, if you're in more in a hurry to get things out, contact the Ojai Business Center. They do have a small fee on top of it to send out uh, UPS uh, and some of the other uh, ways. So, uh, but if you want it done quicker, we can get the items over to Ojai Business Center. They'll box them up and ship them out to you. <clears throat> Jerry over at the UPS store, he's been fantastic. He actually did our last auction and is, is a wonderful gentleman to work with. Um, he can box things up, he can ship them out, and again, if you have a large grouping of items, he's a very, very good guy to go with. Now, let's talk about overseas purchases. One of the problems that you overseas guys have is the cost to get these things shipped over. I had one gentleman from the Netherlands contact me and said that he bought a fender, he got a quote from the UPS store, and it was like 800 bucks. Okay, obviously, that's not the way it's going to get shipped. So, uh, we do have a company called Schumacher Cargo. If you do have a, a big grouping of items, uh, they can go ahead and, and, and box them up, palletize them, and ship them out to you. And also, there's a gentleman by the name of John Munn, and he's um, at uh, Classic Style down in uh, Australia. And he ships out of Ventura here on a monthly basis. So, uh, John is a great guy to get a hold of, and he can ship down your items uh, at a reasonable price. So, again, if you have items that are going overseas and you're getting quotes that are just too high, drop me an email and we'll see what we can do to help you out. Again, we just want to thank everybody for participating. It's been a wonderful auction, and make sure you continue to bid. We're just starting Group B, and it's going to go on for probably another week. So, again, thank you very much, and uh, you know how to get a hold of me if you have any questions. Take care.